So the businesses that are on this block are having a hard time getting customers. Actually, the customers are having a hard time getting to the businesses. How's business these days? You walk in, they're like, it's a nightmare in here. It's like a war zone out there. So this is a pretty familiar scene for any Montrealer. Like we say here, we have two seasons, winter and construction. The city's revamping this strip, putting in a bike path, replacing the lead pipes, adding more trees. 140 trees, wider sidewalks. The public renos will be an improvement for sure, but the work's gonna take at least another year. So the question is, will these brick and mortar businesses survive to reap those benefits? I'm good, thanks. This is my weekly treat, that, 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 you know, a small amount to cheer me myself up. Lovely. How's it going? Roger LeDuc has been running this flower shop since he took it over from his father in 1981. I feel like you're a softie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can yeah. tell. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, yeah. Show us what you can do. I'll try to do my best. My father bought from the Quintuplet, the uh, Five Sister. The name of the, the store it was Boutique Emilie at that time, and uh, we're still alive up to 2022. So what's your future right now? We don't know. We go day by day. Jackie, I've heard lots about you. She's 79. So you've been here for 45 years. Maybe a little bit more because I did work when I was 14. And how long do you want to keep working for, ideally? Well, I'm not sick right now, and I'm okay, so uh, with my brother. I want to work for my brother. How's business these days? Slow. Comparing to what it was before. <laughs> What's it like working here? I, this is the best job I've ever had. It's like a family. You can see all the stuff on the wall, like all the <laughs> writings. And Roger stuff. told Jackie, please stay home. May 8th, first time in 53 years. <laughs> so that's the first time you gave her a day off? Uh, <laughs> you're so kind. <laughs> I hope so. Very good uh, boss. <laughs> Roger, you're open 365 days of the year. Yeah, we never close. Never, never. Even when my father died, that, yeah. the store was open. I said to my brother, why don't you close? He said, well, daddy would have liked, no. uh, liked it to, to close the store. I just got off the phone with city councillor Alex Norris. He's responsible for this part of the neighborhood. He's coming down to uh, talk with Roger about what the city can do to support him during the construction. He did the same thing we did. He went to the wrong side of the street, so he's going to be a few minutes because he's got to walk all the way around. It's not a major thing. You're not going to give me my hand. Yes, yes. You're not going to give me my hand. You're not going to give me my hand, but I think it's... It's a journey, it's like that. It's like that. What are we going to do to survive in this time? We're the only big city in Canada that has a program in place to compensate the commerçants. Pour une portion de leurs pertes, définitivement, ça va être plus beau. Okay. Mais entre temps, je reconnais que c'est pas évident pour un commerçant. On peut pas survivre. Impossible. How much is your rent? Uh, Eight thousand a month. Wow, so that's a lot of flowers. Yeah. And what about the other businesses around here? The same thing. The restaurant on the other side is. Uh, it might load it only. How dramatically has this affected your business? Really bad. People don't even know where to walk. You hear the noise? Okay, one sec. That's nothing. That's nothing. It kind of ruins the atmosphere if you want to go yeah. on a date, well, you know? <laughs> We're losing about 70% of our clients, 70% of our sales. Not even Uber is ringing. The cars can't even get here. So what's the plan now? The plan is closing the doors. <laughs> What are you going to do with this? Do you want to play one with me? Which guy am I? I think you're that guy. Oh, did I kill you? <laughs> Good dog. We're on the other side of the street where the construction's wrapping up. We're going to go see how these businesses are doing on this side. So this one's definitely closed. This barber shop didn't survive. Closed. 
closed, closed. How's your deafener doing right now? It's very bad. I feel like I'm killing myself. No business. You see my face? Yeah. I'm always not frustrated. Uh, I have no money to live. I have no customer. It's a tight position to be in. It's a very tough position for me now. Yeah. Very tough. My name is Fen, I'm from CBC. Have your sales gone down during the construction? Between 20 and 40 percent, I'd say. Have you had any support from the city? Well, there's supposed to be a way to get some money from the city. But when you go on the internet and uh, try to fill out the form, they ask for a whole bunch of things. They ask for the number of this and that that I don't have. Are these from Japan? I have a contact in Japan. That, uh, sends me records. A lot of people have really affectionate memories of here. Long-standing yeah. businesses are important for people. It would be really sad to see it go for like such a silly reason as just like construction. Mm -hmm. What color? What, ro what rose? The grant that the city of Montreal has proposed with like the four forty thousand dollar cap uh, is like a, a good start. But I don't know if we're going to be able to make it to February. So if there would be like a way for them to sort of do an interim version of like a smaller amount or like expedite it. Thank you. Done that before. Yeah. It all the time. And this place means a lot to a lot of people. Yeah. It would be really sad to see it come. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Oh, thank you for giving me a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Very stressed. Very stressed. That's understandable. 18 years I have a business here. I don't know who these guys are who are working for the city, but uh, they stretched it out as much as they can. They have told me to come to buy their flowers at you. It's not clear if the city's grant will come through in time. Roger has to wait till February, the end of his fiscal year, before he can demonstrate his losses to the city's satisfaction. Floritaria and the other shops on this block, they're a part of Montreal's history, and they're a part of this community. If they do close, this little corner of Montreal wouldn't be the same without them. <laughs>